Will Fuller, a free Miami Dolphins we would be wise to expect a bit more calculated approach to the 2021 free agency cycle than what the Miami Dolphins put on display throughout the course of the spring of 2020. Back then, the NFL's salary cap was continuing on a rapid acceleration, adding more spending power to each team thanks to the rising revenues of the NFL. With the COVID-19 pandemic putting a dent into the league's bottom line, expectations are that we will see a reduced spending window for NFL teams in 2021. For the Miami Dolphins all is well. Miami has the cap space to retain their talents, continue to upgrade the roster and add a number of future big contracts via the 2021 NFL draft. But they're still going to have to be a bit more selective with how many free agents they sign, which makes finding the right fits essential. One such position of need for the Dolphins is the wide receiver spot, where the Dolphins figure to be active in both the draft and free agency. Finding the right pieces of the puzzle will be big here to boost the passing offense, and you won't find many receivers more capable of generating big plays than Texans wide receiver Will Fuller. Does Fuller's vertical skill set fit into the offensive supporting cast for Tua Tungavailoa? And could the Dolphins dare to make a big dollar signing like what Fuller will cost? Fit in Dolphins scheme, Miami, under Chan Gailey, ran an offense that was largely dependent on the quick passing game, but the team had few options to win after the catch. Fuller isn't a big yak guy in the short game but he collects plenty of yards after the catch playing vertically and winning over the top. There's a chance that Miami could covet that ability given Tungavailoa's experience in a vertical passing offense under Mike Loxley in 2018. Trent Dilfer, who has worked closely with Tua Tungavailoa thanks to the Elite 11 program, described Tungavailoa as the best four verticals passer has ever seen. And yet Miami rarely ran the verticals concept in 2020. Fuller wins to that area of the field. So many a fresh option in the vertical game with plenty of speed, Fuller ran 4.33 s in the 40-yard dash is just what this offense needs. For his career, Fuller averages just short of 15 yards per reception, he's a chunk play waiting to happen for an offense that could create hardly any down the stretch. Fit in Dolphins cap, the risk of adding Fuller to the roster comes on the economic side of things. Anytime you go after a marquee name on the free agent market, you're going to overpay, it is the nature of the bidding process. Was Byron Jones the NFL's best cornerback when he signed his deal with Miami last offseason? No, he wasn't, but he got paid like anyway. Fuller isn't expected to challenge for WR1 money, but he will collect a healthy contract. And the risk with Fuller is that he's never produced to a level that would guarantee you he's ever going to live up to his contract this offseason. Fuller set a career high in yards this season with 879 and 8 touchdowns in 11 games. He was well on his way to 1,000 yards for the first time in his career before a failed drug test resulted in a suspension that prematurely ended his season. It is the fifth consecutive year Fuller has failed to play in 16 games, as well. Injuries have been a big part of Fuller's story in the league, just as much as his big plays down the field. So you're talking about a wide receiver who is coming off a ped suspension, has never played in 16 games in a season in 5 tries and has never logged a 1,000-yard season in his career. 